Winston Churchill was once asked what it was like when he met Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and he said meeting FDR was like opening up a brand new bottle of champagne. And that's Gene Cuthie. He lived large. He was an outsized personality. He, he loved people, he loved community, and if he were gonna do something, he did it right. Gene had this thing in him that was kind of magnetic. He was very smart, but the thing that I always loved about him and the boards I served on was his sense of humor. You meet him, you think, oh, this guy's serious. And in about 10 minutes, he'd have everybody in the room laughing. Gene was a passionate person. He had a set of beliefs about social justice that um, were at the forefront of everything he did. And you could count on Gene always pushing the envelope uh, to do more to make the world a better place. His industry experience was incredible, and what he knew was quite impressive. He had a knowledge base that you wouldn't believe. He actually knew people in positions like at the Federal Reserve. He would know these people by name, tell them what our issues were, tell them our problems, and hopefully craft solutions with them. It got to the point where I think they were a little annoyed that he had so much access to them and would bring all of us uh, advocates to the table with them, but it really was effective. I met him back in the late 80s, and at the time he was commissioner of the Financial Institutions Bureau, so he was a big man with a big title and a big job, and I was intimidated. I, you know, I called his assistant, made an appointment, went over there, and once I met him, he just he put me at ease right away and made me laugh, and he just ultimately became a mentor to me for many years. He was a strategic thinker. He had a deep understanding of banking and corporations and how things worked, but was a person who could know those systems and think about how those systems could be deployed in ways that um, benefited low-income and vulnerable communities. When he got appointed by Governor Blanchard, I think it scared the hell out of the banking community. He challenged the banks that they could be doing more without incurring any more risk, but to really become more engaged in their communities. The person who wins the Gene Cuthie Award, I think they have to have a love of their community. They have to be willing to give back. They have to be willing to do it right and they can't be afraid to ask for what they need to get the job done. He just didn't get onto any board because he was asked to be. He was all in because he believed in what the organization was doing. And when Gene was all in, then he was working the political side of advocacy. He'd be out in the street talking about what the organization can do, and that's who Gene was. And when you have a board member like that, I think we all felt that we should finally recognize people like that as an example. It has to be somebody who is in their very DNA and their very fabric as a fighter for social justice. If it really needs to be true to Gene Cuthie, they ought to have a good sense of humor. Gene Cuthie was one of the great storytellers on the planet, and that's what made him so fun to work with. You haven't had fun until you've been able to party with Gene Cuthie. <laughs> Something else, let me tell you. Happy hour never started early enough. <laughs> He taught me to appreciate other things in life. He taught me to appreciate really good food, very good wine, great martinis, and not to be afraid to talk to people. He just taught me a lot of great life lessons, and he's missed every day. When I think of Gene, I just smile. You know, he, he was fun and made service fun for everyone.